Hello Steelers and welcome to a very cheeky and very quick uh, hobby update, bench report. Uh, I wasn't going to do another one before I left for Vienna but I've actually managed to get through quite a lot of stuff this week, get stuff painted so I thought I'll put this together and just do this as a last one before I leave uh, just to show you what I've done this last week. Uh, so I'm not sure if this will be out on Friday night or Saturday morning but it's going to be out, might be Friday night quite late on. Uh, just to mention if it does come out uh, do check out the paint, the, the pigment uh, review that I did for uh, for Geek Villain uh, that is up already and it's uh, the video before this so go back and check that out, it's just a short one uh, but it just shows you how to use the modelling pigments and they're great as well, I've had them for a long time, I was meaning to do a review uh, I've re put the review out for a long time but I thought I'd put this one together just to, as I say, really just show you what I've done this week before I managed to go away for a week so first and foremost uh, was one of the 3D printed buildings that I bought from Gary over Paint and Glue bought a couple of these ages ago, over a year ago I think now, when I was buying loads of stuff from Paul at Sabotage, who will be mentioned again in a second. And uh, he, uh, I got these ones, they're slightly different to the ones I got from Paul, similar design, I don't know where the STLs have come from, so don't ask. But I put it together with some Sabotage walls and a few bits of scatter as well that Paul had sent, uh, and just finished that off. I'm trying to make a concerted effort at the moment just to try to get as much of my terrain done as possible. I've got three of those houses left so this is uh, a good step towards that at least. Also I did some some other scatter terrain as well, this is a mix of things. Uh, so this has got a collapsed chimney, this came from Ironclad Miniatures. It's also got a little 3D printer building from Patrick Miniatures as well. Uh, various bits, uh, the allotments and the greenhouses and stuff and all the, the fences and walls that you can see, they all came from Sabotage from Paul over there. Uh, and these are, and the, along with the little statue as well. These things are just little bits and pieces. Again, I've had these sitting in a box for a long time, so I just wanted to get them. I'm trying to just clear that, uh, that of particular things to get them out of the way. Uh, also, I carried on working on the Romanians as well that I got from Battlefront. So the leftover bits I had were the Panzer Shrek and Panzer Faust crew along with a little officer as well. So I just based all those up and painted those and got those out of the way as well. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, they'll be used for O Group or for Chain of Command, uh, various things. Uh, just a little bit of support really. Uh, then also, over on the through the Mud and the Blood Facebook group, uh, Keith Jordan actually sculpted a 1915 Daimler-Benz mobile anti-aircraft gun with a 7.7mm AA gun on it. Uh, now this appears in one of the, uh, the Stout Hearts and Iron Troopers scenarios and it's one that I've been after for a while and nobody's ever made one but Keith uh, did his magic and he made it up and uh, I asked Paul over at Sabotage if he'd print it for me as part of some other things he was printing and he very nicely did so uh, I've got a, 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 a paint of two of those up uh, Paul did two for me so that's perfect it's more than enough than I need so brilliant stuff also, as well, in the post, uh, I got a load of Star Wars Legion casualties. These are from the Skull Forge STL files. Paul and Paul also did me some. Uh, so, thanks for you guys for, for doing those. Uh, I got these for because in Xenos Rampant, we realised that we need to keep a track of half casualties. So, I'm just going to be putting those down by units when they get hit and stuff. So, uh, it's, it's a nicer marker than having some dice or things. So, I'll get those painted up at some point in the future. Also, Paul uh, weaved his magic over at Sabotage and he sent me these, which are uh, sugar beet uh, farm processing tanks. Now, this is particularly obscure and you're probably wondering what the hell these things are, but they're basically little industrial tanks. Uh, he's done these ones, he's done some with the roofs off, he's also, the tops off, sorry, and he's also done some of the tops as well. Now the reason for this is because there's a very famous painting of the Canadians attacking at Corsolette and they are fighting around these things. The, uh, the beet factories are uh, scattered all over northern France and in particular around the Somme. So this is perfect for uh, terrain for, the, uh, for that area. So that's what I'm going to be using those for. 
and I asked Paul to design them for me and he did and he printed them and they're brilliant. I'm going to be bashing some of those up and they will be scattered terrain uh, and also I'm going to make a factory out using some of them as well as the one does at Corselet. Uh, also as well, uh, Dex last night at the club, so I'm recording this on Friday, this is uh, Thursday night on the club, uh, the club he gave me a load of Soviet SMGs, these are the battlefront ones, plastic ones which I've had before but I've used them up and I'm just basing these at the moment, so thank you very much Dex, I'm basing these up at the moment for O Group to turn those into a platoon or a company of SMGs, so I've got a bit of um, leeway with using different units because we want to add some other bits and pieces in there so thanks for that Dex. He did say he's going to give me a load of rifles as well when I next see him so I'll probably uh, bulk those up for my existing O group units and turn them into square formations for the early war stuff. And that's the only stuff that came in the post or the stuff that I bought really uh, however we did uh, manage to get a second game in of uh, the Kursk scenario, this was clearing the way, I played this with Dex last night, uh, he was playing the Soviet defenders as before, I was the German attackers as before. It was. It's a very difficult scenario this one, basically the Germans have to clear the minefields in front of them, they've got to clear four of them uh, to win the game, uh, but the Soviets uh, as you can probably see from the table photos, it's a very, very open table, so the Soviets have got quite a distinct advantage in the defence. However, unfortunately for Dex, uh, he, I think he de probably deployed a little too early. I would have waited as the Soviet defenders, and I managed just to destroy his sections piecemeal. I think by the end of it, he took something like 17 casualties to my six. Uh, I was just basically hid behind a hill and just gunned him down. Uh, it was sheer bloody murder, to be perfectly honest. But uh, it was a good game. We both enjoyed it because, as always, with Chain of Command, it's a, you've got to unlock that key, really. Uh, and I thought it was really... Uh, it, it, I'd, I'd played it before solo when I did the, uh, the, the Kursk scenarios as part of a campaign on the channel, which you can find elsewhere. Uh, and it was, and it went very badly, very differently for the Germans. So it was nice to see that it can work either way, depending on what you do and how you do it, and also what your enemy does as well. Uh, so there was that. Also, just to mention, uh, the you'll get the uh, the 3D STL files for the Daimler Benz anti-aircraft gun. You'll get that in the uh, through the mud and the blood. Facebook group, go and join that, I will let you join it. Also check out the Storm of Steel Facebook group again, uh, just come along and join that, post some stuff in there, it's always good, lots of good pictures are going up in there at the moment. Uh, and as I said, I'm going to be away in Vienna uh, for the next week at least, so uh, don't expect any uh, hobby updates at least until I get back. Uh, and. Uh, really, I'll, I'll put out some more videos. I've got a couple. Of, I've got videos coming out next week, uh, but uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get anything else out in between. But so Friday at least, you will see something else. Uh, but I'd have just, as I said, put out the. Um, uh, thank you, Tony. I, I have put out the uh, Geek Villain Pigment review this morning. So go and check that out as well. And I'll see you in the next hobby update and bench report.